How's it going? Thedex and Andy and Yoro Zuya Gin Chan. How do I know you're the whitest motherfucker who ever lived? Yoro Zuya Gin Chan. Hey, how's it going, Regal Productions? You guys ready for lots of finger sniffs today? Oh, yeah. Love sniffing those fingers, folks. I was listening to music and then I heard some autism. Yeah, it must have been me. Yeah, I knew you were super white. Yoro Zoo. Yeah, nobody has a... F no, no Asian person would have that fucking name. <laughs> You're whiter than the bread that I eat. Which is to say, very white. Even though I only eat wheat. Lots of finger sniffing good today, folks, with the LaCroix to keep me company. What's your favorite anime, Mr. Yoro Zuya? Or is it too, it's like asking you for your favorite child. It's just too hard of a question to answer. I might actually fall asleep. I'm more tired now than I was at any point during the 24 hour stream. I don't know what the deal is. Mysterios and I were supposed to be recording Boomer vs. Zoomer now, but thank goodness that fell through because I would have fallen asleep during the podcast. Gintama? I'm not familiar with that one. Monkey Jones is gonna break your bones. That's a cool rhyme. Where did you come up with that? When's the next Chamber of Depression? I'm not sure, Narwhal King. But, uh, it will happen. How how low in my chair can I slump before I'm just completely out of it? I mean, this isn't the first ever Monkey Chill stream. I think the 24-hour stream was, was pretty chill, to say the least. Install a Windows XP on a Pentamum? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> if you read this, I send you Nuggy. Well, let's see. If uh, Burger King has 10 Nuggies for a dollar, then a Nuggy would be 10 cents. Frealty, thank you for subscribing. So I guess you owe me, I guess, what, 10 bits now? How do I move this? Let's move this. That's a better spot. What are in the BK Nuggies that they're making a profit for 10 cents per Nuggie? Do you think that's even chicken? <laughs> what could be in there? What the fuck could be in there? And why do I keep eating them? Can you buy just one Nuggie? I think it's frowned upon. <laughs> but how, how could you resist? You can't just have one Nuggie. You gotta have all 10. Or in my case, all 20. Buying one Nuggie. What kind of madman are you? Are you still mad that McDonald's is shit around your area? No, I don't want to order from a machine. I want a human slave to do my order for me. That's the fun of going to a fast food restaurant. Some guy making $6 an hour has to put up with my bullshit. 20 nuggies. Hot mustard. Oh, you don't have hot mustard like usual? Fine. Buffalo. Oh, you're all out of buffalo too? Great. And he made about three cents off that interaction. <laughs> it's like <laughs> less than a cent per nuggie in cost to them. That's crazy. That cannot be true. Mysterious banned you from his Discord. What did you do? Say the N-word? Why is there a money goal in the corner? Uh, I don't know. I thought it'd be fun. It's only at $50. and I don't, I'm not taking it seriously, but I think it's... I think it makes it fun. Ever had boneless wings from Zaxby's better than Nuggies? Zaxby's seems overly priced. It's like eight bucks for six wings. No, thank you. No, thank you. You should go on the weekly sweat. 
Nuggies are made out of mashed up homeless people toes that the employees snip off in the middle of the night. They have special night crew for toe collection. Well, shit, I mean, I, I would be upset, but they are just plain delicious and cheap. So at least we're getting some use out of the homeless in this uh, state. My mom told me to donate to people in poverty. Hey, I'm not in poverty. You should have donated it to that homeless guy so he didn't have to sell his toes. <laughs> Wait, how's that already up to eight? Is there a... Oh, there's the five dollars. For your legal fees. Don't waste on nuggies or else <laughs> you'll get as big as Burger Boy. No, I was going to talk about on um, the new Bo Boomer Zoomer, which I guess we're recording tomorrow, that uh, I had another doctor's appointment and I've lost weight, folks. In the last month, I've lost seven pounds. We did it. All that exercise and drinking LaCroix instead of booze, it's really working for you. One of these days, I'll give you the Monkey Jones weight loss regimen. It'll be a, a DVD, no Blu-rays, no VHS. It's a good old-fashioned DVD. Uh, it'll cost two seventy-three dollars plus shipping and handling. You'll get this workout DVD, and it'll hopefully help you lose seven pounds in a month. <laughs> Why aren't you posting on Vanilla? Uh, I try to, but I, I can't fi figure out how to embed their videos onto my website. Uh, I don't know if they have embedding set up, and if they do, I... It wasn't easy to figure out like every other website. How do I be a Chad like you? For 273 plus shipping and handling, you can find out. Or just wait for the next Boomer versus Zoomer. I'm sure I'll tell Asterios all about it. How to be anorexic? I don't know. I don't think I look anorexic. This face is way too cheeky for an anorexic man. Vanilla's uploader only works like 50% of the time. Well, 50% uh, of the time it works 100% of the time. That's how you got to think about it. Does it include nude yoga? Kind of, yes. <laughs> kind of. Did you snap Jumpkey's neck? No, he's taking a nap. That's how he naps back there. Just ask Vanilla. They're literally worshiping you. I'm going to interview them soon. I was going to do them on my next interview show, but then I did. Please keep stroking your LaCroix sensually. That's how we like it. I was going to do them, but then I did uh, Dale Gribble instead because I was more excited about that. But I'll get the Vanilla guys into an interview. Thoughts on Ricada Law? I like that guy. I've talked to him before. He's great. I think he does good stuff. Call Asterios a Muppet. Is that how that other guy got banned from the server? Nice stroking of the can. Anything anything for the good donators in the chat. Drake Bell interview win. He keeps pushing me off. I don't know. Everybody tweeted Drake Bell asking him what's going on. All right, let's pull this up. It's, it's going to disappear before I can read it. I keep forgetting to open up the read the donation thing because I think I can read them so fast, but then they just disappear. These are lengthy paragraphs people write to me. It's almost like they expect an English teacher to know how to read. Some woke idiot tried to claim you were harassing poor innocent Quentin reviews, and honestly, I'm surprised that it took this long for the woke tards to go after you, and she's acting like you blocking her is some major victory when you just didn't want to hear her BS. Do you remember during the 24-hour stream, Skumpy and I stupidly spent 50 bucks in a bit war? Yeah, that was... uh. That was one of the highlights of the stream for me. Uh, yeah, you uh, you get pretty used to people on Twitter just blindly hating you and uh, sending shit to you all day, every day. Uh, it doesn't really bother me. I, they can think whatever they want. For every one idiot tweeting at me, I've got like 10,000 who watch my stuff, so... <laughs> why, why would I pay so much attention to the one loud, annoying voice when there are tens of thousands of voices that actually at least this much appreciate me <laughs> see that's that's the key that's the secret folks don't focus on all those negative things those negative nancy's focus on the positive phillips <laughs> you're all my positive phillips in the chat did you get your goal in the 24-hour stream? Unfortunately, yes, which means we have to do another 24-hour stream this month. I made a deal with Florian in the chat that if we hit the goal for every 24-hour stream, that means I have to do another one the following month. So, 
Later on in March, join me for another 24 hour stream. I can't wait. Dan Snyder's names for Asperger. Okay, have fun with that. How many interviewees do you have lined up? Also, I love you even if you are a drain on all my future income. <laughs> I wish I could quit you, but I'm your Huckleberry. Did the Huckleberry fit into my Tom Sawyer? Is that what you mean, or is that a different expression? Skumpy, I do appreciate the uh, the endless supply of your wallet. <laughs> uh, what was the question? <laughs> Let's reload that. What was his question? Oh, how many interviewees do I have lined up? Um truly an endless number because I reached right when I announced the show I reached out to a lot of people and they all said they would do it but now I do it like once every other week so it seems like I'm so uh, so slow to get to everybody but there will be a shit ton of interviews it's truly never ending it's just going to keep going and if I run out of people I'll just invent new people <laughs> I'll interview myself I've been watching Rusty Cage for two years, and that Johnny Hardwick interview is the happiest I have ever seen him. He doesn't usually try to present the happiest parts of his life to the internet, so I'm not surprised that's the happiest you've seen him. He also doesn't do very many live things. He has a very edited personality that he puts out there in his videos, and I, he doesn't like to edit in his happy moments. <laughs> Arbitrist, thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. What's the gimmick of the next 24-hour stream? We're not doing another thing on repeat. It's just going to be 24 hours of chaos and falling asleep. You know a channel that interviews dead people? What, with a, a Ouija board? Ouija? 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 How do you pronounce that shit? Nobody ever taught me. What's up, Billy Red Snake? 24-hour stream listening to a bi... Binaural beats for long longevity? What the fuck is that? I can't even read it. Ouija? It's a Luigi board? <laughs> Ouija? No, I think it's a Luigi board. That's much better. <laughs> they should make them green. You excited for Captain Marvel next week? I've had my... IMAX seat reserved for over a month, folks! Because I knew that shit, they were going to try to sell that shit out. And they were going to bust in a bunch of Girl Scouts and shit for free. And I said, fuck that. They're going to take all the good IMAX seats. I'm just going to book this early, even if I don't want to go. Uh, but I, I read a rumor. I don't know if this is true. I kind of hope it's not. But it came from a very valid source, which is a random thread on 4chan. They said that Disney filmed two versions of Avengers Endgame. One that has, and like by different versions, it's like 10 minutes of different footage. One where Captain Marvel does a lot more and is more instrumental in, de in defeating Thanos. And one where she's barely in it and the normal Avengers are the ones who defeat Thanos. And they're saying, depending on how successful the reception to Captain Marvel is, they might change which version of the film they put out and that might sound crazy but I actually fucking believe it I actually do because if if everybody hates Captain Marvel and it's a horrible flop and then after 10 years of build up this random character who was shoehorned in at the very end defeats Thanos I would say that's the worst storytelling in the history of cinema <laughs> it's fucking horrible the room would look like a masterpiece so uh, I'm not hoping that Captain Marvel fails I hope every movie I see is good, but I am hoping that she has a very tiny role in Endgame because she has no fucking business doing anything. It's, it almost makes me upset that this character is being thrown in at the last minute at all. I, I'd, sh g give me Black Widow killing Thanos by herself. At least that's one of the original Avengers. See, it's not a gender thing with me. It's... I've watched these characters for 10 years. You can't give us a deus ex machina at the last minute to defeat the greatest villain in the history of, of the series. What the fuck? God, I, I hope they don't do that. I'll be so disappointed. I'm the guy who said he was going to make a monkey dating sim. Unfortunately, that game ended up being in development hell. I'm making a different weeb game. 
the Avengers thing sounds true and I hate it. Yeah. It's kind of funny because uh, I probably harassed Quentin more than you have. Also, how funny it would be if Puppy and Quentin tried to team up to take you down. <laughs> Not much teaming up you can do from inside a prison cell, I don't believe. Which is where I imagine Puppy is going to be by the end of the year. Are you still hearing I'm coming home on loop in your head? No, that it lasted for about an hour after that stream, and I was kind of worried about it, but then when I just listened to a podcast, it immediately went away, and I have not had it stuck in my head since. I think it was because I had these shitty little uh, earbuds in my ear, stretching out my ear for 24 hours straight. I think that was my big mistake, because the song wasn't stuck in my head. It was stuck echoing through my ear. Which is a very bizarre thing. Jump key will break Thanos' bones. I don't know. What what random character would I be satisfied with jumping in in the final movie to defeat the big bad guy after a whole film of everybody? Because everybody has something against Thanos. Everybody. They all want to avenge their fallen loved ones and friends. And... Th so, if anybody other than the Avengers defeats Thanos, what a fucking cop-out. Horrible. Captain Marvel just swoops in and just kicks his head off. What the fuck did I watch all these movies for, then? What if at the end of Endgame, Thanos stops being a bad guy because Captain Marvel is just so beautiful? Uh, <laughs> I don't know how I want Thanos to be defeated. Really, if I was in charge... Avengers Endgame would have an even darker ending than Infinity War, and Thanos would win again. <laughs> and it would and that would be the final movie. <laughs> Could you even imagine, folks? Could you even fucking imagine if that was how they ended it? The bad the bad guy wins two Avengers movies in a row. They they have a whole Captain Marvel movie setting up her character, and then he like kills her in one punch, and she's just fucking dead. <laughs> Wouldn't that be the greatest? The greatest trolling in cinematic history. I don't think they could ever top that. It'd be perfect. Kaiji beating Thanos after a year of planning to save his friends who will ditch him because he has no money. What, he's going to beat Thanos in rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> a max, uh, maxified channel and uh, Ichise, thank you for subscribing. What if Vincent the Atheist defeated Thanos? He thinks of himself as, like, the Mad Titan, right? He doesn't call himself a god, so I don't think Vincent the Atheist could take him down. Vincent's only strong against God. He could kill God in one punch because he doesn't believe in him. Uh, Asiatic Stat. Thank you for the three months. You might be the first three-monther? Three-month subscriber? I'm not sure. I don't remember anybody else doing it. The Burger King kills Thanos. What if Thanos and Heroes... Really, Thanos doesn't have anything else to live for. He he feel, he thinks he accomplished his, like, sacred duty in life. And the, his daughter, who he loves more than anything, he had to kill. And he's clearly grief-stricken. And now that he has succeeded in his goal, it would make sense for the character to kill himself. But that's not a comic book superhero movie. They have to fight him and win. <laughs> and if... If it's really going to be a big time travel plot, where the fuck does Captain Marvel even fit into that? Her story takes place back in the in the 90s, but none of the Infinity Stones were found in the 90s. What's the... I don't know. Stop talking about superhero nonsense, no one cares. Oh, really? The, the most popular film franchise of all time that made $2 billion at the box office and it's going to make $3 billion this year? Nobody cares about that? The one time that the, uh, I can't even remember words anymore. Never mind. I'm, I'm very tired tonight. Read the, read the title. No, not Star Wars. I, I assure you Avengers Endgame will make more money than Star Wars Episode Nine. They're both the big ends to these big franchises. I think Avengers is going to squash it like a bug. Uh, Captain Marvel defeats Thanos with a sexual puppy allegation. I assume that's sexual assault allegation. Yeah, Thanos should get me too'd. 
I think that would be the way. Because there's no coming back from that. Poor Thanos going to going to court to face these allegations head on. Endgame might break 300 million on opening weekend. Fuck, I'll go see it three times on opening weekend. I'll see it in IMAX all three times. I'm gonna drag sheep with me too. Read about dysgenics, then you'll realize why superhero movies are popular. Allow me to grab my fedora for you. Uh, you sound like uh, an enlightened thinker over there. You ever think I just like it because it's awesome? <laughs> Because there's this, it's anime in live action. There's a scene where the big purple guy uses his magical glove to throw a moon out of orbit at a man inside of uh, an, an iron suit that can fly around. You don't think that's just fucking cool? <laughs> that's like the coolest ship I, shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Thanos threw the moon at them. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> I don't need to read your dysgenics bullshit to know that that's fucking awesome. <laughs> Vincent the Atheist versus Thor. There you go. He could take Thor. Vincent could knock out Thor in one hit. That's his superpower. He, he kills all gods. Billy Redsnake, have you not seen Avengers Infinity War? You gotta, you gotta watch that shit, son. The, the fight scenes with everybody against Thanos are... It's nothing but that awesome shit. Throwing moons and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Doctor Strange uses the Naruto Shadow Clone Jutsu and shit. It's so cool! You can see the ending by reading the comics. I don't think they... I don't think they adapt it in that way. It's inspired by the comics, but I don't think they usually copy the ending. Thank you for noticing. I'm enlightened. I wish my parents did. <laughs> Your name's Winston Churchill 113. <laughs> Yeah, Doctor Strange is a badass. Uh, it helps if you've seen all the movies before it, but uh, I can cut it in half for you. You're going to want to see Iron Man, uh, I guess Captain America, and then Avengers, and then Winter Soldier, and then I guess Avengers 2, and then... Civil War, <laughs> and then, and then Avengers uh, three, and then Endgame. There you go. It's only eight you really have to see. All the other ones are pretty much filler. You could figure out what the fuck's going on. <laughs> you don't need to see any of the Thor movies. You don't need to see the Hulk movie. You don't need to see the Doctor Strange movie. Like you understand his character within five seconds of meeting him in Infinity War. There you go. You don't need to watch Iron Man 2 or 3. It's all filler. <laughs> oh yeah, Ragnarok. Well, you don't really need to see Ragnarok. Because in Infinity War, Thor just explains everything that happened in Ragnarok. So you, like, just, you, you can pick it up from him explaining the plot of the other movie in this other movie. But yeah, Thor Ragnarok was good. It's just, uh, if he's trying to catch up fast, he doesn't need to see it, even though it's one of the best ones. I'd rather watch scat porn than blue-pilled superhero movies. Ah, <laughs> uh, did I miss the bit donation? I'm sorry, I'll scroll up and find it. <laughs> Where did that bad boy go? How do I read it? I don't know where it went. Do 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 do. Oh, it was a dollar. Wow. Uh, uh, I'll try to find it. I, I tried to scroll up in the chat, but it wouldn't go to it. Oh yeah, the Guardians movies. Yeah, you should see. You should see both of those. I would say that. Yeah, I forgot about those. So that's ten of the movies. I would say out of. The, the 21. It won't be too hard. Avengers are going to beat Thanos by having Captain America explain why he's being a bully and that he should vote for Kamala Harris. <laughs> you don't think Captain America is a Bernie bro? <laughs> yeah, James Gunn's script is confirmed for Guardians 3, but they still won't let him direct. What kind of bullshit is that? They say, yeah, your, uh, your tweets that you posted 20 years ago 
I don't know, they, they don't fit the ideals of our company. We can't employ you anymore, but we will pay you for the script you wrote. At that point, why not just let him direct the movie? You're still hiring him for this movie. What's the difference? If he writes and directs it, or just writes it? Stupid. Winter Soldier is better than Civil War? As, an, as a movie, yes. As a piece of the overall story of everything, I think Civil War is better. So it's really if you like these as individual movies, or if you like how all of these stories come together in Civil War, and you see all your favorite heroes fighting it out! I hope De Detective Pikachu says the N-word. That was gonna happen if it was voiced by Danny DeVito, but he said he didn't know what Pokemon was, which I think is a, an odd response. I don't care if you're 89 year old Danny DeVito. I'm pretty sure if you live in America, you've heard of fucking Pokemon. Don't act like you're cool and you've never heard of Pokemon. It's the biggest franchise in the history of the world. <laughs> it's inescapable. I don't care how old you are, Danny. Does Mumkey, <laughs> every Mumkey stream have to mention the N-word? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Ever played Marvel vs. Capcom? I went to, like four years ago, I went to one of those, no, I guess it would have been two years ago because I'm only 23. I went to one of those bars that have arcade games and I played it there. And I think I beat my friend, and that's the only time I ever played it. <laughs> I think I, I fought as Spider-Man and uh, maybe Wolverine. I don't remember. Yeah, we did play that, Sheep. Did I beat you? I remember fighting Cobb on that game, too. Yeah, Pokemon is worth more than Star Wars. It's Pokemon is the biggest franchise in the history of the world. That's not uh, hyperbola. That's not hyperbole, it's a fact. Ever stuck your DS stylus in your urethra? I, I lose all of my DS styluses because I'm a degenerate. Um, I probably do lose them up inside my dick, actually, so... I'm glad you reminded me. I gotta fish that out sometime. <laughs> Ow. Big oof. Grookie gang. Hell yeah, fam! What do you think caused Star Wars' downfall? I mean, is it really a downfall? Their worst performing movie, Solo, was still, I think, in the top 10 highest grossing domestic of the year, right? Was that really that big of a flop? It said, who would win in a fight? Dale Gribble, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Ultra Instinct, Ku, Kaio Ken, uh, times 20 Goku, or Gingerly? <laughs> What kind of fight are we talking to? I don't know that Dale Gribble's gonna <laughs> stand a ghost of a chance against Super Saiyan God. I think, honestly, I think the problem with Star Wars is that it's just coming out too much. That's not an original thought. Uh, for for six movies, you would get a new Star Wars every three years, three years, then you wait 20 years, three years, three years. Now we're getting one every other year, and the fact that Solo came out five months after the previous one, it's uh, it's not like a superhero movie yet, Star Wars. You're not Marvel, you can't drop three movies a year yet and expect us to go see all of them. People are getting sick of Star Wars because it's all the same fucking shit. And that's coming from a guy who just said that I'll see three superhero movies a year. <laughs> Uh, try to release a Star Wars movie once every three years, so then people can get hyped up for it. It's too much. Why are the Lego movies failing? Because, uh, the first one was a big hit. Lego Batman, I think, was a big hit, and it was really good. But then Ninjago came out, like, eight months later, and I don't think it was very good. And then there was very poor marketing for the Lego movie, too. Because when we posted our review, most of the comments said I didn't even know this movie existed. I would have seen it, but I didn't even know that it was out. So they should have done better marketing for it, I think. What if Elliot Rogers' ghost defeated Thanos? I'd feel like it's a bit of a cop-out as well. <laughs> sort of came out of left field, didn't it? Elliot Roger was barely even mentioned up to this point in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Barely. Can we get Dale Gribble in Wheel of Punishment 3? We might get him at a Boomer vs. Zoomer live show if we really go to Texas. I'm sure he would come open for us with his Dale Gribble music. If 
they let me direct a new Lego movie, it would be a super smash hit blockbuster. What would you do, Baron? Which would you do Lego Movie Three or would you do like the Lego Shrek or something? <laughs> Instead of Lego Batman, give us the Lego Shrek movie. I bet that'd be great. Lego Ninjago was a solid seven. Well, it might be that they're just putting out too many of them too fast. You think they'll make a Super Smash Bros. movie? Well, the people that made the Minions movies are now making a Mario cartoon film, which could not intersect with Detective Pikachu because it's different companies. So if it happens, I think it would be through Illumination, the animation company. And if the Mario movie does really well, I don't know. I don't know if they would have the rights to all that shit. But if they did, I guess they'd be the ones to do it. I don't think it would be a live action thing. I don't think it could be. I think it would have to be animated. So Illumination is your best bet if you want to see a Smash Bros. movie in the next 10 years. Did you see the Dragon Ball movie? I haven't even seen the Dragon Ball anime. Oh, you mean, you mean the new one? I thought you were talking about the live action, but yeah, I haven't really seen any Dragon Ball at all. Mario Kart vs. Speed Racer would be hype. I don't know if that's a crossover they're allowed to do. <laughs> what do you mean, barely? Has he been mentioned before? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they've, uh, Captain America's talked about Elliot Roger a few times. He said, I'm, I am America's golden boy, Captain America, Steve Rogers. I treat women with respect, unlike that scallywag Elliot Roger. That was that was a quote from Avenger, or yeah, from Avengers to Age of Ultron. He said that to Ultron because Ultron said some misogynistic shit <laughs> to Black Widow. He said, "I am Ultron, and you are a bimbo." Captain America said, "Nah, fam. Let me tell you the the story of Elliot Roger." <laughs> and he he educated Ultron on misogyny and and a gender discrimination in the workplace and Ultron said you know what you're right I surrender the end and I you know what I had to give it to him that guy in the chat was right these movies are blue pilled <laughs> Ultron gonna say the b-word <laughs> is the Nuzlocke ever going to continue probably not I'm gonna be honest probably not I don't feel like it that's why Avengers 2 is so long yeah he Captain America really had to go into the history of misogyny in America, so it was like a, an eight-hour film. He barely even scratched the surface. <laughs> Didn't the actor for Cap call Black Widow a whore? I don't know about that, but maybe. I don't know. She made out with Steve Rogers and then was dating the Hulk in the next movie. You tell me. I'm, I'm just calling out what I'm seeing. I'm not making any accusations here. Will Erich rate Captain Marvel as a top movie of the decade for being so brave? I don't know. He didn't... I don't think he went crazy about Wonder Woman, did he? I think he had Wonder Woman as his second favorite DC film. Which is not super high considering most DC films. But I am... I'm pretty much fully expecting Erich to, to call this movie Kino, no matter how good it is. I would not be surprised. Erich will bring all of his female students. Uh-oh. I don't think they pay him enough for him to buy them all a ticket. Is it confirmed Ultron is actually Elliot Rogers' brain downloaded into a computer? <laughs> well, in, in Captain America 2, they revealed that the Nazi guy downloaded his brain into a computer, so it is canon that this can happen. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I thought he had the personality of Tony Stark, but maybe they upgrade or they uploaded Elliot Rogers' psyche instead. Who can say? You're forgetting in Avengers One when Loki said, "I will be a supreme gentleman," unlike that Elliot Roger. <laughs> and I remember that scene. No, I was just uh, I didn't want to bring that up because it's such a famous line. It's it's like when you say a puny god. You know, we don't need to say that line over and over again. Everybody knows it by heart. I'd watch a cyber incel movie, like a RoboCop, but <laughs> so they put an incel's brain in a killing machine. 
<laughs> Isn't Tony Stark just cool, Elliot Roger? No, Tony Stark gets laid all the fucking time, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> They don't want me to spoil the fact that Rocket Raccoon defeats Thanos. I'd be fine with that. Did you see him when he watched Groot dying? He was so sad. They all have a motive to avenge Thanos on their own, but they're going to do it together, holding hands. My question is, why didn't Quill just challenge Thanos to a dance-off? It worked in the first Guardians movie. The one fucking time I get to watch a monkey stream, it's all about a bunch of movies I haven't fucking seen. Sorry, I mean, it's a big franchise with three movies a year and the greatest blockbuster of 2018. I, what do you want me to say? What? We like the Marvel movies over here. Maybe we'll inspire you to watch one of them. Just go watch Endgame. Don't watch any of the other ones. Just watch the final one. <laughs> to see if you have any idea what the fuck's going on. Check your Patreon, Discord, underage kids are posting their news. You're full of fucking shit. No, they're fucking not. What if they recast Tony Stark as Tony Hawk? Well, I think the next one will be... Robert Downey Jr.'s final movie, so anything is possible, but I think Tony Hawk might be the same age, if not older. <laughs> Sonic from the Sonic movie? Oh, yeah. Who is making that? Is it the same company that's making Detective Pikachu? Because maybe... Sonic's not really an old-school Smash Bros. character, but he's in the fold enough now that I guess he could be in a... Smash Bros. movie if they made it. Check your Discord. Oh my god. Fuck off. <laughs> if animated demons saying it, I know it's not true. <laughs> Remember when people were flipping their shit over that movie? Which one? The Sonic one? Can I get your Discord for free? Why? Because you heard that there's <laughs> child porn in there, you sick fuck? If anybody's posting anything like that, I'm just gonna fucking ban him and report him. Did you ever check your Twitter messages? Yeah, I, I do pretty often. Didn't Loki say, I have a supreme gentleman, when Tony said we have a Hulk? Was Loki saying that in reference to himself? <laughs> Why wouldn't he just say, I am the supreme gentleman? <laughs> I wish I could help defeat Thanos in some comic way. I'm gonna get revenge on women in the sorority house, quote from Ultron. <laughs> How much longer will Burger be in his halfway home? I have no idea. How am I supposed to know? He doesn't tell me shit. He ignores all my calls and texts, folks. I have no way of knowing. I don't even know how we're gonna find out what his sentence is when he goes to court. I bet one of these motherfuckers in the Discord said, Hey guys, let's all go troll Mumpkin. I'm going to take one f goddamn look. <sighs> Damn, my scrolling isn't working today. Okay, I guess I got to... My, my touchpad on my computer doesn't want to scroll correctly. It's annoying. There better be like a, a birthday cake waiting for me and everybody says, surprise! Oh, it was a trick. We love you, monkey. Uh, he's saying gnomed when I haven't even opened it up yet. <laughs> there better at least be a picture of you've been gnomed in here. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be really upset. <laughs> yeah, no, there's a shit ton of gnomes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the, if I could choose one meme to never die, it'll be, you've been no. <laughs> That's my absolute fucking favorite. <laughs> Have you guys seen the, the sheep over version where you've been sheeped? You guys gotta watch that one. Just uh, go to the sheep over channel, type in you've been sheeped and you'll see, you can sheep your friends. It's free. It's free and easy. <laughs> Fucking gnomes everywhere. <laughs> Wait, did somebody make that in, an official emoji in this server? I don't know. I, I think I just gave emoji powers to whoever wanted them. 
<laughs> Remember that in the after credits of Avengers 1 when Thanos looked into the distance and said, one day I will be the Supreme Gentleman and I will defeat Elliot Roger one day? I don't, not, I don't usually stay for the, the post credit scenes, but I don't, I don't remember that one happening. I don't remember that one. What do you think Burger's reaction was when he saw your auction video? I have no fucking idea. I don't even know if he can see it. Maybe they only give him 20 minutes of internet access a week in that halfway house. He said he's under strict, uh, uh, uh under watchful eyes over there. Can't think of big boy words today. Remember that scene after the end credits when Thanos warns the audience about 9-11? The, the attack in Avengers 1 was far worse than 9-11. <laughs> they fucked up a shit ton of buildings. What are you talking about? Thanos orchestrated that attack. He's not staying with Jackie. He's staying in a in an addict house with it's like a little apartment with four other uh, addicts and they're all being watched all the time is what he said. If he's at a halfway house, is there even a chance he can get his shit back? Oh, he can call his mommy and daddy to come pick it up. Just like how he had to call his mommy to pay his bond to get him out of jail after he beat up his girlfriend. Oh, oh mommy, come help me. I'm a 24-year-old man with a big beard and a big beer gut, and I almost fucking killed my girlfriend. Mommy, please come pay my bond, Mom. Pathetic. Yeah, he had his mom bail him out. Everything I'm saying is public stuff. This isn't insider information. It's stuff that the police have published on their website. It's stuff that he said in his public discord. Yes, calling the police is swatting. Never call the police. Never help somebody who's about to be killed. Never. At least he doesn't eat Lunchable Nuggies. Yeah, I'm the real man-child here. <laughs> Those Lunchable Nuggies were adequate. You worried about Asperger getting revenge on you? What, by taking me to court? He has no case. I'll win... I wouldn't even need a lawyer other than I don't know how to uh, file shit. I could represent myself. He could bring in Trump's lawyers and I'd fucking win. You, when you are uh, suing somebody, you need this thing called evidence in order to win. And there's no evidence of me doing anything illegal because I haven't. So good luck. You lose again. But it's kind of hard, I think, to sue somebody when you're probably in prison for about a decade for for a felony you committed, so I don't know. I don't know. Michael Cohen versus Monkey Jones. Trump's lawyers aren't faithful, though. Well, there you go. I picked a good random lawyer. <laughs> Physical revenge. Uh, I can beat Asperger in a fucking fight. If, if he wants to do, like, a charity boxing match, I'll beat the fucking shit out of him. I've, I've pinned him down before. He, he's, he, he might be fat, but he's not strong. He has nothing. I think I have longer reach than him, too. What if Asperger kisses you again? Well, then I'll forgive him. <laughs> Rodriguez, that's right. Drunken fist style. Uh, excuse me. That's the, I drank half a Red Bull because I thought I was going to record with the Stereos and I was really tired and then we couldn't record. So I'm all Red Bulled up and tired. He'll train for 10 years to fire you. Yeah, if he bulks up in prison, oh boy. Luckily, I'm not going to be living here in 10 fucking years, so I don't know how he's going to find me. Is this the other 24-hour stream? Fuck no. <laughs> Would the proceeds from that physical fight be for domestic abuse victims? Uh, if he wanted to do a charity boxing match, then sure, yeah, it'll all go to domestic abuse victims. I, not only do I want to donate to that kind of charity, but it's also the funniest charity possible, given the circumstance. Uh, let's pull up and see what that said without the censorship on it. At least Asperger didn't 
bring those pots and pans, they would have made a great tools for beating. Uh oh. Oof. How are you going to win the Wheel of Punishment Championship from Burger? Uh, maybe I'll, maybe as a settlement in my countersuit, if he tries to sue me, I'll say, you know what, I'll settle for the the Wheel of Punishment wheel, and I'll hang it up on the wall right next to my first trophy. Do you think there's any chance of you guys making up? <laughs> uh, bend over, what the fuck do you think? If Asperger comes to you and apologizes and admits he is wrong and sucks your dick so you forgive him, would you? Yeah, I'm a reasonable person, but I, I guarantee you there is no reality in the multiverse where Asperger realizes he did something wrong and apologizes. It would never happen. It could, the thought would never cross his mind. He's incapable of accepting responsibility for anything. Little things like being late for uploading a Pokemon Let's Play, he would also come up with excuses that it wasn't his fault. This is something that is deep-seated in him at every single level. And what's funny is that even Jackie would complain about this shit to me all the time. And now she's accepting it like, oh, no, no, it really wasn't his fault. Nothing bad happened. Okay. Okay, Jackie. Even after he got out of his drunkenness, he didn't feel any sympathy. No, he literally thinks he didn't do it. He, li he thinks that I called 911 and convinced the cops to arrest him. He's fucking insane. He, the brain is not plugged in, in that head of his. It's not plugged in. That is not how it works. Police do not arrest people based on my 911 phone call. They investigate, they see blood, they see bite marks on thighs, they see uh, uh, hand imprints on necks. They see bloody faces, they see bloody walls, they see destroyed cell phones, and then they make an arrest. Meme Key Jones. Wow, he hit the 50 buck goal! Thank you, Bum Dingler! Memes all day! Every day. Thank you so much. Wow. Stunning and brave. What an achievement. There are images from the police investigation. I have no fucking idea. I haven't talked to the police. But uh, I know damn well those police officers will be testifying against him. So it doesn't really matter what she says in court. Like they're going to really trust the testimony of the battered housewife when the state is pressing charges. She's not pressing charges. The state of Georgia is pressing felony charges against him because he committed a crime not against one person. A crime so severe that it's a crime against the literal state he is living in. Her testimony is irrelevant. It's all down to the police officers. Uh, so I, do I think they took photos? I have no fucking idea. Do you, do you really need photos when you're a cop in this situation? You can just say, hey, look at that black eye. <laughs> Somebody's posting age old rusty videos in my discord. Burger would get along with my dad because they're both alcoholics that beat women. Yes, as someone who was beaten by an alcoholic, Asperger disgusts me. Oof. I'm sorry, Princess Maria. What are your thoughts on the Native Son movie? I Is there like a trailer for it? I want to see. I've been waiting a long time for this. It's coming out on HBO. They're not going to even put it in theaters. Native Son 2019. Let's see. When is this coming out? Wait, it's already, it had its premiere at Sundance on January 24th, and it's coming out on HBO on April 6th. Oh, fuck. I've been waiting a long-ass time for this movie. I even made a video about it on my channel like two years ago. Do I recognize any of these names? Ashton Sanders as Bigger Thomas? No. Margaret Qualley? No. Nick Robinson? I don't think so. Not seeing any names I recognized. Who is this Ashton Sanders guy? Oh, he played a uh, uh, Chiron, Chiron in Moonlight. I guess I've seen that. He he kind of looks like the character should look. That's uh, okay, good. Who is directing this bad boy? And did it get did it get a good score at Sundance? Nobody it doesn't say. 
Directed by Rashid Johnson. I don't think he's directed anything before. Doesn't look like it. But yeah, I'm pretty hype. There's actually a chance of it being good. Isn't Nick Robinson the guy whose apartment burned down? I have no idea. Doing a school project on Native Son. Give me some pointers. Uh, talk about how... I don't know. <laughs> about how it's fucking awesome. <laughs> you could probably do a write-up on... There's a lot of literature at the time about how uh, black people, they felt... Uh, you know, unsafe and that they were being uh, prejudiced against because, of course, they were, what, in the 20s and 30s or whatever, and that they were openly embraced by the arms of communism. And communists were like, oh, my black brother, uh, the communism is the answer. Everybody is treated equally under communism. And then in all these books, you got Invisible Man, Native Son. They, they listen to the communists, and the communists ultimately fuck them over. Even the communists are full of it. They don't even want to help. Equality my ass, they say. Yeah, right about that. Why not? Do you have any hobbies outside of movies and video making? Does hobby suggest it being some sort of productive thing? Because if so, I guess I mean I write books. I do a lot of writing. Does that count? Tell me about Bane. Why does he wear the mask? That's my question. Remember the time Spider-Man called the chameleon? Akami? No, I don't. Do you think Toy Story 4 will be good? No, I don't. <laughs> I think it's a horrible mistake. I don't think they should have done it. Should have left it off at 3, but I also said that they should have left it off at 2, and 3 surprised me, so maybe they'll do it again. But based off of everything we've seen so far, it looks like schlock! Looks fucking shit! I don't want Key and Peele doing their Key and, Key and Peele bit in a Toy Story movie, come on! Don't, but of course we're gonna, we're all gonna see it. But, I don't know. Pixar is not the greatest at doing these sequels anymore. Or even the prequels, like the, the Monsters University was like, this didn't need to exist, it was whatever. Incredibles 2 didn't need to exist. It was whatever. Toy Story 4. I, uh, I got a bad feeling. Go make a Coco 2. <laughs> Coco dies again. <laughs> Grandma Coco, you're back. Oh, and they start crying and singing songs. Oh, Grandma Coco, she came back alive and then she dead. Muerte, muerte, Grandma Abuela Coco. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mi abuela Coco. Ella es muerte. La 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 la. Ja ja ja. That's how they say ha 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 in Spanish. Ja 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 ja. I am the Coco man. That's how the movie goes. Nobody saw or even cared about Good Dinosaur. Yeah, what the fuck was that? What were they thinking? What were they thinking? Ja 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 It's a Coco 2. <laughs> Can they make Coco 2 if Coco dies at the end of Coco 1? <laughs> Will you ever play any Rage games? I don't think so. Favorite and least favorite Pixar film. Now, it's going to make a lot of people mad, but I haven't seen most of them. I haven't seen Up. I haven't seen... Uh... What are those other ones that everybody loves? Bugs Life. I've seen all the Toy Stories. I've seen The Incredibles. I've seen Cars 1. 
I've seen a Ratatouille. I haven't seen a Wally. Uh, I liked Inside Out. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm serious. I'm sorry, boys. I, I mean, I've seen the first 10 minutes of Up or whatever the fuck. Haven't seen Good Dinosaur. Ants is better than Bugs Life. Ooh, sounds, sounds like an edgy opinion. <laughs> So let's see, favorite and least favorite based on the ones I've seen. Favorite is probably Toy Story 2. Least favorite. I remember thinking Cars was fine. Oh, wait, no, ooh, Monsters, Inc. Oh, I really, really love Monsters, Inc. That might be better than Toy Story 2, actually. Yeah, I like it better than Incredibles, even. Least favorite, I don't know, based on the ones I've seen, I guess it would be Cars. Because the other ones I actually really liked are just was um, lukewarm on, like Monsters University and Incredibles 2. Would you rather watch all the, all the Pixar films or the DBZ anime? Probably the Pixar films. Because the DBZ anime sounds like it would take me months to watch. <laughs> no, I haven't seen Up. You have a clip of Drake Bell scratching his nuts for 10 seconds. Why do you have that? Was he doing a stream and he hitched his nuts? Super Mario, brother. Thank you for subscribing on Twitch Prime. I don't want to pay for your official podcast episode. Can you tell me what your masturbation story was? I honestly don't remember anything I said on that. That was like a year ago. I, uh, I didn't listen to it back myself. So, like, I got drunk, recorded with those guys for probably two hours, and then left and never thought about it again. <laughs> Favorite non-Pixar CGI cartoon? CGI cartoon. Pixar movies are all shit compared to Spirit Stallion of the Cim Cimarron. Favorite cartoon that's CGI? So not like a, not like a Lion King or anything? Oh, I know there's probably something. I just got to rack my brain and remember. Ba -da 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 -da. More of a movie buff or a video gamer? Definitely movie buff. Not really a big game guy. Most of the games I play were for my gaming channel. Oh, uh, yeah, Shrek. That's a great one. Unironically, it might be Shrek. <laughs> I haven't watched Iron Giant since I was a kid, but I know that's a good one. Yeah, can, can I say Shrek is my favorite non-Pixar CGI animated film? It's fucking awesome. I've watched Shrek probably more than any other animated movie. <laughs> I fucking love Shrek. Watch Up and do Is It Kino for it. You want to come on there, Tomas? You can teach us all about... Because the little fat kid is Hispanic, right, Tomas? Maybe you relate. Little fat Hispanic kid. I showed you my bits, please respond. <laughs> okay. Iron Giant is unironically Kino. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. I know all about what's the name of the kid? Uh, Luther or something? He has some silly name. Lenzark. What's the name of the kid in the Iron Giant? Luthark? Lin Lindark? Mandark? From Dexter's Lab? Somebody will tell me. Luth is it Luther? Hogarth! Hogar or Hogarth? Hogarth, okay. Yeah, I knew it was something dumb. <laughs> the Road to El Dorado is Kino for sure, but I don't think that's CGI. Did it have like ha like partial CGI, like the Hercules movie with the, the Hydra? It might have had some partial CGI, but I don't think so. On the trail we blaze! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> God, it's fucking Kino. <laughs> Road Del Dorado is unadulterated fucking Kino, folks. There's no question. <laughs> oh, yeah, Emperor's New Groove. That's, a, that's an amazing movie. It, it really is. I even watched the, the Disney cartoon because I liked it so much. Didn't even notice that they changed the voice actors. I was a young boy. I did, had no idea. Yeah, Emperor's New Groove is definitely Kino. Are you watching any anime at the moment? Uh, I watched an arc of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I... I faintly remembered as a kid there was an arc in Yu-Gi-Oh! Where Kaiba holds a tournament. And it's like 10 episodes long. 
and Yugi is dueling a purple-haired kid in front of a castle, and I thought, was that a fever dream? Did that happen? So I spent a couple days binging through that season, and also, Little Kribo was about to abridge that season, so I thought I should at least know what the fuck's going on in it, so I get the jokes. But uh, I finished that, and I'm not going to continue watching Yu-Gi-Oh! I just wanted to watch those you know, 15 episodes. I'm still planning on watching Avatar The Last Airbender soon! That's not an anime, but I count it as one. <laughs> What do you think of My Neighbor Totoro? I have not seen that one. Time Foam Bath Ray. Thank you for subscribing. I have not seen Prince of Egypt either. Isn't Coco Pixar though? That doesn't count. They said a CGI movie that's not Pixar. American anime opposed to Japanese anime. Yeah, that's right watch Jojo. Isn't it really long and I have to watch like six parts and shit? Prince of Egypt is the best. Is that... No, it can't be DreamWorks best movie because they made Shrek. <laughs> Chat, tell me right now, what's a better DreamWorks movie? Shrek or Prince of Egypt? You have to tell me. And yeah, I saw Rambo. I dare you to watch the Brad Dassey thing one more time. We might end the stream with that. That seems pretty comfy. Shrek, Sh everybody's saying Shrek. Sorry, Prince of Egypt. Looks like the plague is coming again. It's a big green ogre plague. Prince of Egypt does not, uh, sorry sheep, you're outvoted here. Every, I honestly, I imagine Shrek is a better film. <laughs> Unironically Shrek. Shrek is one of the greatest movies ever made. I don't know how Prince of Egypt can possibly stack up. If you're a kid growing up in a super religious household, do I... I mean, surely I don't have to be religious to like the movie. Even... Like, that's a Jewish thing, right? I know it's in the Old Testament, so Christians probably don't give it as much credence as uh, Jewish people would. It's the, the testament they like to ignore, those Christians. I fucking love Shrek, but Prince of Egypt is incredible. I've never heard you talk about it once, Sheep, and I've known you for like three years. You've never mentioned it. And we've watched Shrek together like five times. <laughs> yeah, Shrek won the Oscar for best film. Did Prince of Egypt win shit? I doubt it. What are some of the worst TV shows you've ever seen? Uh, Community is pretty bad. Rick and Morty is horrible. Breaking Bad was just, like, boring. There's, like, a scene where he ties up a guy, and then he drops a plate, and then he's, like, he's missing a piece of the plate, and I'm thinking, this is so boring. Why are we even watching this? Who the fuck has never seen Prince of Egypt? I guess me. I haven't seen so many old cartoons. I haven't seen any of the Disney ones from before Lion King. I haven't seen Little Mermaid. I haven't seen Cinderella. I haven't seen any of that shit. My parents never bought me those VHSs. Never. Living Biblically, yeah, that's a pretty good show. Uh, <laughs> see, but you wanted to hear bad shows. Um, have you seen Shrek Retold? Yes. Yes, I watched it as it premiered. I was very happy to watch that. That was great. Why don't you like Rick and Morty? I, I said Rick and Morty was bad and then followed up with Breaking Bad is bad. You you tell me if I really like Rick and Morty. <laughs> Who'd win in a fight, Shrek or Thanos? Thanos has superpowers. Shrek is just kind of buff. <laughs> but but uh, does Shrek get to use the fairy tale creatures to help him out? Or is, if it's a one-on-one -on -one fight, I think I don't think Shrek can take it. Nobody dislikes Breaking Bad. You're goddamn right. He doesn't have high enough IQ to understand that show. Shrek has a big dick. Thanos doesn't. Wait, did he say Thanos or Thor? I don't remember what I said. I might have fucked that up. Shrek wins unless Thanos has the gauntlet. I don't know. I think the Hulk would beat Shrek. And Thanos beat the Hulk so if you can prove you have seen the Prince of Egypt I will spread cheek right now I can't prove it because I haven't seen it I 
I just said I haven't seen it. <laughs> You've now ignored almost $4 worth of super messages. You are missing them the four feet tall and appear right by your head. Play Shrek Super Slam. It's better than Smash Bros. I tried to emulate it, but it ran really slow on the emulator. We were going to do that for the gaming expedition. Lord Moonstone blocked me on Twitter. Call him in right now to make him unblock me. Mr. No Name, you gotta stop getting blocked on Twitter and then expecting me to fix it. When you wipe, is it front to back or back to front? I don't wipe. What? A Toilet paper is expensive. Just don't wipe. Why would you even do that? Does it help? Have you played the Persona games? I haven't. What are they for? What console? <laughs> yeah, just every time you take a shit, no matter where you are, just go take a shower. <laughs> Not wiping is better than wiping back to front. <laughs> it's on PlayStation. I have a PS4 now. Poor sheep. Now she says it tastes good. What's the problem? Creamy or chunky poo? Both. Wiping is for casuals. Underwear is cheap. No, I don't wear underwear either. I just wear this one pair of pants. All the time. Without wiping. Is that a problem? Is that That's pretty normal, right? I, I thought toilet paper was like only what billionaires used. Any thoughts on the shit going with Andy and Ralph? Uh, I have absolutely no idea about any of that. That's news to me. I don't really follow that kind of stuff. This is why you don't meet your heroes. No, every time I have a fan meetup, I make everybody sniff my ass and tell me if they can tell that I wiped or if I didn't wipe. Who is one of your favorite fans? It's got to be Animated Demon. He never lets me down. How's the monkey above your 1,000, 100,000 uh, plaque been? I don't know. Looks like he's doing pretty good to me. He hasn't fallen off yet. Did you have the panic attack once the adpocalypse happened? No. <laughs> How would I have a panic attack? I don't make money on YouTube. I don't have a channel that is monetized on YouTube. I don't give a single fuck. I actually think it's a good thing because it's the perfect opportunity for a rival website to spring up. Everybody's always talking big game. Oh, oh, we hope there's a new YouTube, but we're going to keep exclusively using YouTube for now. Well, the shittier it is for you people to use uh, YouTube, the more likely that they'll switch over and give another website a chance. A website, supposedly, possibly, that I'm not banned from. So it's win-win for me. I do feel sorry for my friends, but fuck it. You know, I, I'm i not making ad revenue from YouTube anymore, and I'm doing okay. If I could do it, you guys could do it. If it was up to me, sure, I'd give you back your ad revenue, ad revenue but it's not up to me. It's out of all of our hands. So you just gotta be smart. You gotta diversify your income as many ways as you can. But yeah, migrate the fuck off of YouTube. Put your money where your mouth is. You'd use vanilla if they had an app. Eh, I'm sure they're working on it. Thank God you were put in a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody bought that diaper for $40. <laughs> I should just wear a diaper all the time. I could stream all day. People get so mad at me. Oh, monkey, why do you go pee every hour during your streams? I could just piss in my diaper. Nobody would even know. <laughs> Brilliant. What are some of the worst shows you've seen in all actuality? I don't know. I, I can't think of horrible TV shows because I wouldn't watch them. <laughs> I'm pretty selective about what I watch in the first place, so I don't even know. Like, if a show was that bad, I probably stopped watching it immediately and then didn't even have a chance for it to register in my brain long term. On the trail we blaze! That's right. It's a horrible TV show that I truly hated. All I can think of are shows that I liked. 
You know what? Um, Full Frontal with Samantha B is a really horrible show that I watch every week just to see the dis or the misinformation that she spreads on there. So I guess I'll go with that one. That's a show that I actually watch that I think is bad. I could probably start over again on YouTube under a new name, doing like a voice modulator, where every week I just explain like everything wrong with Samantha B's show. And every week I explain all the shit she got wrong. Uh, and I could that could just be my new channel. Do a collab with Britney. Uh, I've done lots of collabs with Britney. She collabed on both of the Wheel of Punishment as the cameraman and the wheel artist. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff with Britney. She's great. Do you own a gun? No, not yet. Not yet. Review Sam B's show weekly. Yeah, I went on a rant because they had a bit on that show where they got... And uh, this isn't me saying this. This is what they said. We got our two most obese female writers to write a, an eight-minute bit about how diets aren't real, diets don't work, and you should just stay fat. And I thought it was the most horrendous thing I'd ever seen. I thought it was a disgusting spread of misinformation. Of course the two most obese people on your staff are going to cherry pick any information they can to present that diets are not real. But I've been on a diet for three weeks and I lost seven pounds. <laughs> you gonna tell me that I imagined it? You fat fucks? It's it's just disgusting. So dangerous. Fat people watching at home are like, oh well, the the broads on Samantha B said diets aren't real, so I guess I'll just eat whatever the fuck I want. Mm, not my fault. Mm. No, no. Even if I even if I only ate a piece of celery every day, I wouldn't lose weight. I heard it on Samantha B. The British office is better. People are the worst. Just shut up. I've never watched the British office. Is it worth watching? It's only like 11 episodes, right? So I could probably just binge it in a day. But the American office, I think, is... I mean, everybody loves it. I don't need to say it's great. It's fucking awesome. It's so great. I especially like the early seasons where Michael does the, the more hardcore racist shit. Uh, they, they were so much edgier at the beginning. And then they, they kind of made him just like a lovable oaf boss instead of... <laughs> fucking racist asshole. <laughs> Neither version of The Office is funny. How dare you? I guarantee you I could give you an episode of The Office and you would smile at least once. You can't be that humorless. Remember when Sam B called a kid a skinhead because he was at the CPAC and didn't have a hair because he had cancer? Yeah. Yeah, Samantha B is unapologetic and spreads misinformation and just, yeah, they'll, she'll accuse a cancer kid of being a Nazi because he doesn't have hair and he's at a Republican convention. It's fucking disgusting. <laughs> the shit that they get away with on that show because they're just preaching to the choir and I'm, I think I might be the only guy who doesn't buy into it that watches that show every week. See you later, Red Moth. The office is just zooming, the camera zooming in on Otis the entire show. That's funny. <laughs> Impractical Jokers is the funniest show ever. I tend to agree. I tend to agree. How often do you bathe? You're not going to believe me, but three times a day. Uh, it's not an obsession or any weird thing. It's in the morning, I taking a shower wakes me up. Then midday, I go for a full hour on the treadmill and I get all sweaty. So then I have to shower off the sweat. And then every night I reward myself for a day well spent by taking a hot bath in my big old bathtub. So yeah, I, I technically bathe three times a day. <laughs> Every day. Yeah, it's because I don't wipe. That's why. <laughs> Let's see, did I miss something while I was talking about taking a bath? Have you ever watched The Boondocks, Aqua Teen, or Duck Man? Also, in popular opinion, I prefer Drawn Together over Rick and Morty and Bojack. Uh, I love Drawn Together. I really do. I don't know if I like it more than Bojack. But some Drawn Together episodes are funnier than anything Rick and Morty have ever done. You just have to have that dark sense of humor. I have not watched Boondocks. I've seen like one episode of Aqua Teen and I have Remember not watched Duckman. Remember when Man. Kathy Griffin called a bunch of high schoolers Nazis because they did the three points sign at a basketball game? I don't remember that one, but I do remember Kathy Griffin 
uh, is getting sued for for doxing those children uh, at the the Indian the Native American guy thing with the kid who was just wearing a Trump hat standing there doing nothing. She doxed him, and now they're suing her, and I think that's very funny. You, Rusty, and Emp Lemon should do an Impractical Jokers type thing. It, it would never happen. Neither one of them has the personality for doing in-public pranks like that. Absolutely not. Maria is one thirsty negress, and I say that with affection. <laughs> uh, Maria, Princess Maria only wants to hook up with Florian. I, I do not have to worry about that. Her and Florian are a match made in heaven. What was your first computer? I have no idea. Bojack is one of the best adult cartoons. Yeah, I think that would be the consensus opinion. I don't think a lot of people who love adult cartoons would say Bojack is horrible. Can I send you firearms through your P.O. box? You can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> I'm not responsible for what people send me. The, uh, if anything, you'll be the one investigated. If you send anything illegal, it's not my responsibility. I can't, <laughs> again, I can't brainwash people into sending or not sending anything. Any news about Sodi? Yeah, we're on a bit of a hiatus because they've been very busy in their personal lives. So, I'm sure it'll come back soon. Bojack rules, it's the one reason I miss Netflix. Uh, you can watch it other ways. An Impractical Jokers type show with Rusty and Sheep, Asperger can play in prison. I'm telling you, no friend that I have other than maybe Asterios, but he would probably not feel comfortable doing it. Nobody I know would be fit for that kind of show. Where you have hidden earpieces and you go troll people and make yourself look like a big dummy. Uh, I would love to do it. I think it'd be fun. I actually tried to do a show like that when I was in high school and we had a few episodes of it up on my old YouTube channel. We actually did that based off of Impractical Jokers. But uh, I, I don't see anybody I know right now wanting to do that kind of thing. You want to do it, but you have no friends. You also need a lot of equipment and cameramen and producers and shit. It's, it's not easy to do. I love BoJack, except for season five. That season sucked. Also, Duckman is a really great show. I think you'd really like it. I know there's a Duckman clip where he gives a speech about the importance of comedy and uh, it's really anti-censorship. And a lot of people sent that to me after I got banned off of YouTube. <laughs> so uh, I liked that clip. Is the whole show like that? Duckman was the original Bojack Horseman. Newepisodes.co. There you go. There you go. Joe couldn't wear blackface in Compton, so he's tonight's big loser. I love those memes. Are they say, okay, Murray, you're, you're tonight's big loser. Walk into this theater with this fake gun and pretend to shoot up the place. And then he goes in there and then they like unplug the mic and they go to the camera and say, what Murray doesn't know is that's a real gun and it's fully loaded. <laughs> like the, the alternate reality, super graphic, horrible version of the show where they get away with committing horrible murders and crimes and shit. <laughs> I would watch the fuck out of that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's one of my favorite memes of the of the uh the here and now <laughs> is the the fake and practical jokers punishments <laughs> we're gonna make q believe he's getting arrested for domestic terrorism for three weeks <laughs> they did that to sal i think they they had sal touch a statue and then uh then they pretended like he was gonna get arrested for it and they actually made him go to court and shit Who's your favorite porn star? Stormy Daniels. 
Mia Khalifa! Mia Khalifa! Those two. In the lesbian porno. Those, that's my favorite. That's my favorite porn. You should guest star on Unpractical Jokers. That'd be my dream. I could die happy then. There's more where this came from if you bounce jump key on your knee for 15 seconds. Well, how can I refuse? April O'Neil. Come here, buddy. Okay. Here we go. I'm just bouncing my son on my knee. It's not what it looks like. He's he has he has Tourette's. He needs to be in constant motion. I'm helping him. This is hot. Shut the fuck up, you furry fuck. Stupid wire. My gingerly. <laughs> uh, I can only imagine what that was originally. Thank you, Nico, for coming through. We can do the rest of the stream holding junkie. Duckman's basic premise is that even if he's being an asshole, he's right. Sounds like somebody I know. How old is Jump Key again? Well, he's a clone of me, so my age. Is it incest if you have sex with a clone of yourself? If that's incest, then I don't want to be right. <laughs> I'm tired of Twitch bugging me to post this so gingerly it. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, thank you for the three months, though. Happy Hanabi. Lose the pants. It's so hard to put Jumpkey's pants back on. No way. It takes forever. And now he's sad on the floor because I can't reach the chair. I can't do the Jumpkey voice. It's a computer effect. I don't do it. It doesn't just come out of my mouth. You have to... Lower it by two octaves. The rumors were mistaken. Monkey wasn't fucking his sister. He was fucking his clone all along! Jumkey donated a dollar without touching the screen. He's very... He's down there texting on his phone. Leave him there. What has he done for you lately? That's right. <laughs> You're only as valuable to me as what you've done for me today! That's right. Make a Jumpkey soundboard? There's plenty of Jumpkey clips out there. You guys do it. Are you going to interview or review Stormy Daniels' videos? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll interview Stormy Daniels. Get her on the show. I'll get her right after Drake Bell comes on. <laughs> Lazy fuck, you talking about me or Jumpkey? <laughs> Duckman's the only one who sees that the world is insane, so in that way, he's right. It's a pretty funny show. It sounds good. Maybe I'll watch it after Avatar and Lost and the, the Terror and everything else everybody tells me to watch. No, I haven't watched Avatar Animated Demon. You know it. No, I haven't watched Lost. Why would I say it if I haven't watched it? I've seen Steins Gate. Watch those shows on stream. Are you allowed to just watch a show on stream? I think I'll get banned. Do a Kino on Daisy's Destruction. It's pure Kino. Pure Kino. You should play A Town With No Name. I've already seen ABGN play it! And Brutal Moose five years before him! You do a group watch on a rabbit? You 
tossed me aside just like Jane Goodall. And much like Jane Goodall, I wish I got the chance to have intercourse with you. Monkey, you cuck. Alexa told me I was bigger than you. Hey! You said that was a secret! When she told me I was big, I knew she was full of shit. They always are. Oh, they always are. As soon as you break up, they're like, oh, you weren't so big after all. Fucking knew it. It's fucking thoughts. Do you love me? Yeah. Yeah, probably. You guys see that T-Series almost caught up to PewDiePie today? They were within like 3,000 subs or something. They keep coming close. And then PewDiePie pulls ahead by 20,000. <laughs> I don't know how he keeps doing it. Give me the Chode trophy you have. it. I put it on Sheep Over Shelf in her office. <laughs> Brutal Moose, I haven't heard that name in years. I watched all of his... Uh, he inspired me to do my Lunchables review. He does reviews of Lunchables and shit. That's funny. I'd recommend catching up if you haven't seen him. One time they passed him for a very brief period. Well, wasn't long term, was it? You guys remember the Drake and Josh episode where they sell the orangutan to a guy who tried to eat it? I've probably seen it like 10 times, but that does not ring a bell. <laughs> he should do more Televoid. I think he gave up on Televoid because the last time he made one, he said it took him like two months to make it. And then it didn't even go in the sub box. And it got like 50,000 views and he was really upset about it. So... the Drake and Josh episode with the chili and they get the uh what was the ghost pepper called in that it's like Chilean ghost pepper what was the special pepper called in the chili episode Josh's grandfather had a nom flashback and tried to kill Craig and Eric I feel like you're memeing but that also sounds like an episode I remember Peruvian puff pepper <laughs> everybody says it all at once the Peruvian puff pepper. That's amazing. We don't have an uptime bot, but I've been up for an hour and a half. Would you guys try the Peruvian puff pepper? Wasn't it like super spicy and good, but then it gave you diarrhea or something? Or Yeah, yeah, I thought I remembered that episode with Craig getting attacked. Causes kidney failure? I don't remember. Yeah, Drake and Josh is a very memeable show. It's great. <laughs> yeah, it was illegal, but I don't I don't remember what the side effect was that made it illegal. Liza Jambalaya bit? I don't remember that part. What about those weird there's like a whole season of weird episodes where they get into a situation where they're maybe they like had a low budget they had a whole season where the whole episode would take place on one set and then it would have like a tragic ending there's the helicopter episode where they're just in a helicopter the whole time and they accidentally kill the pilot and then they have to jump out and then their dad has to pay for the helicopter then there's one where they're driving to a wedding and the car breaks down and then they're just sitting on the side of the road for the full episode. There's one where they're building a tree house and he forgets to put in the door. So then they're stuck in the tree house the whole episode. And then it ends with, I think, the tree house falling out of the tree. And all these episodes did not have happy endings. They all took place on the same set. And then they had, like, the, the most tragic part was the very end. What a weird season. And it was, it was all in the same season, too. It was so strange. But it did feel very much like Keenan and Kel. And in some ways, I think Keenan and Kel might be the superior show. <laughs> Do you still have hope YouTube will maybe forgive you? No. No, they won't. 
hey, Amp Lemon just said we should try to film some episodes this week. So there you go. Sody will be back, hopefully. Dan Schneider loves watching children suffer. I think they were both 18 by the time they got around to that season. There's that episode where they had flashbacks about the foam finger and who really got the last foam finger. And uh, it's revealed that it was Megan. Even as a baby, Megan caused them torment. I thought that was a fun twist. You were too old to keep up on Drake and Josh. What the? F it's for all ages. What are you talking about? Drake and Josh is funny no matter how old you are. It's, it's, it's just genuinely a funny sitcom. I'm glad you guys liked my Sony Lego puppets. Yeah, that was great. I think all three of us retweeted that shit. When Drake and Josh found different friends who ended up getting their own show. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, uh, they were like the fake Drake and Josh. <laughs> what about the one where uh, Drake and Josh are casted in uh, America's Most Wanted and it takes place at the movie theater and uh, they rec like everybody starts recognizing them and I, th I think it's Josh played the killer but then everybody thinks that he is the actual killer <laughs> the theater thug <laughs> you don't like that episode grass chest what the fuck hey just take it easy man you don't like the theater thug <laughs> you know what episode pissed me off oh wow that's the one that pissed you off Right when I start talking about it. Remember the one where they meet Elliot Roger? <laughs> Is that the one when Josh hits Oprah with his car and then Elliot Roger walks up and says, Hey, I was going to do that. <laughs> Drake is a Jew. He's protected from the law. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Josh got treated unfairly in that episode. Well, of course he did. Josh always gets shit on. What about the one where... They're at the hospital and Drake pretends he's a doctor and goes into surgery. Offer a 10 second clip. Yeah, send me that clip of Drake scratching his nuts. I want to see it. Crazy Steve. I don't know. I like him better as uh, iCarly's brother, Spencer. I think he was better in that show. Crazy Steve was a little too screamy. He was a little too Monkey Jones. When are you gonna upload the Scooby-Doo Let's Play with Patchy? If that's your request, I'll do that one next. I've got two of the Let's Plays up on the website already. I'll do that one next if you want. Yeah, well, he was crazy. Yeah, he, he lived up to his name a little too well. Spencer's cool because he's weird but grounded, yeah. The episode of iCarly that fucked with me was the one where Spencer gets stuck in the air duct. And he's, he's stuck and he can't move his arms. And as a claustrophobic man, I can't even watch that episode. It's the worst nightmare to me of being stuck in that tight space and he can't move his limbs or get out. What an absolute fucking nightmare. Oh my God. I would tell people to just kill me. Just fucking kill me. <laughs> At least when Carly got her toe stuck in the faucet, she could move her arms and shit. Tell me I'm stuck in a place and I can't move my arms. Just fuck. I'm going to hold my breath until I die. Just kill me. When Gibby got stuck in the chimney, I don't remember that. <laughs> and kids threw balls at him. All I remember is from iCarly was all the feet, and I don't even like feet. I bet the toe in the faucet was Dan's idea. Of course it was. Of course it was. She's naked in a bathtub and gets her toe stuck in the faucet. Dan wrote and directed that episode, I guarantee you. Have you, have you seen Dan Schneider's YouTube videos where he runs up to the kids and just screams stupid nonsense in their faces? No. That sounds awesome, though. <laughs> One thing that always stuck with me was the SpongeBob episode where <laughs> they're trapped in a hole and Squidward says he's claustrophobic. And then SpongeBob and Patrick make fun of him for being scared of Santa Claus. I, st I said, no, you don't understand claustrophobia, SpongeBob and Patrick. It's a real thing. It's terrifying. 
being stuck in a tight space where you can't move. Are you kidding me? When Dan made a veiled threat to Miranda Cosgrove, you're gonna have to catch me up on that one. Ho ho ho. You good? You good? You good? <laughs> <laughs> the pirate ship is just being ripped to shreds. You good? Stop, Patrick. You're scaring him. <laughs> the perfume store. Do you still have a YouTube account so you can watch YouTube? If so, do you still get the same recommendations or do you get trending YouTube BS? Um, I've pretty much always watched YouTube on the same account. Like, just my account that I've always had. Didn't really use my monkey accounts for watching videos unless I wanted to comment on them. Little, 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 little. <laughs> That's too good. Remember that episode of Ned's Declassified where the fairly odd parents showed up? <laughs> that was weird. Because the janitor in that show is the voice of Cosmo. But I don't think they met. I think they were they were just in Ned's head. What's the best Spongebob episode? I mean, it's Band Geeks, but that's boring to say. But I've been saying that since I was a wee lad. I'm not just saying that because Emp Lemon said it. It was always my favorite episode, even when I was a kid. He's just standing there menacingly. Yeah, that's what happened with that MAGA kid. There's a victorious behind the scenes episode where Ariana Grande says, everybody can see my pussy and Dan deleted it off his channel. Post the link, I don't believe you. Post the link and I'll watch it. You're full of shit. If it's up on YouTube, post that fucking link. Where do you live statewise? I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. Going to AnimeCon, getting drunk on vodka with fruit salad and de declaring myself to my crush. Ooh, okay, here's the link. Here, let's see. Oh, oh shit! It's true! Uh oh. Uh huh, uh oh. Did Dan not hear what she said before he uploaded that? That's fucked up. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Well, I guess he was telling the truth. Oof. Remember how Zoe 101 was canceled because Zoe got pregnant? Yeah, it pissed me off! Man, when I was a kid, that show had the hottest chicks. Are you kidding me? What was I, nine? Never seen such beautiful ladies on screen before. God damn it. If I was Chase, I would have done more than chase Zoe around that campus, if you know what I'm saying. A lot more than chase. <laughs> Wasn't Dan the father? Oof, well, I don't know. She was like 16. <laughs> no, you couldn't really see Sam's tits in the dressing room. That's a fake gif. We've all seen it. We've all jerked off to it, but it's not real. There's no way they would... Why, uh, under any circumstance, would any of the actresses have to be topless to film a scene of iCarly? Come on. And then they accidentally film it and put it on television? No. Dan, I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for those meddling cameramen, Schneider. Remember how Malcolm in the Middle ended? Yeah. It ended with Lois going on a, a rant about how Malcolm has to become president because uh, he was chosen to live a life of suffering. And uh, it's a great episode. It's a great show. Malcolm in the Middle is one of those that if I had to recommend a sitcom to people, that would be the one I'd say go watch. I hope it's on Netflix. I think there's something in that for everybody. It's so good. And if you like Breaking Bad and you haven't seen Malcolm in the Middle, you you, you have to watch it. 
trust me, you have to watch it. You have, have to watch it. Remember on the episode of Malcolm in the Middle where they all get on the billboard with the half-naked chick? Yeah, that was uh, one of those weird episodes like from Drake and Josh where they spend the entire episode in one location, pretty much. Malcolm's pretty great. Anyone know if it's on Hulu? Last I heard it was on Netflix, but it might have been taken down. Oh, they, re they removed it? Fuck that. <sighs> That's too bad. Find it somewhere else. I don't see Walter White, I just see ba Bald Hal. That's how I, I mean, I think that's how I started off too, but then I didn't even recognize him as Brian Cranston after a few episodes. He, like, if you put a picture of Brian Cranston and Heisenberg side by side, I legitimately think they look like different people. He, it, it, they don't look alike at all. It's crazy. And even Hal, Somehow a picture of Hal next to Brian Cranston kind of looks like a different guy. I don't know how he does it with his face. Do you play any Smash Bros? Yeah, my main in the new game is King K. Rool. <laughs> I just uh, shoot the gun and punch. No, I, I never watched the Bill Cosby show. I did watch a lot of Full House. Frankie Munez doesn't even remember doing the show because he had a stroke. Yeah, I remember him tweeting out about how he was watching it for the first time. And he, yeah, just watching shit that he didn't remember doing. And he ended up being a big fan of the show. Brian Granston is in the Godzilla movie, but he dies like half an hour into it. So, if you want to see him in a movie, that's not really the best one. I slowly grew to hate Full House over the years, yeah. <laughs> Can't really blame you. The show does not hold up. As soon as I was in my uh, upper teens, I realized that show is hot garbage, but I still love it just for nostalgia and for the memes. Fuller House, I had to quit after about 10 minutes. That was horrible. Yeah, if I had to say what's the worst shows I've ever seen, probably Fuller House is up there. Garbage. My fucking sister always put Full House on and we would fight, literally fight, over the Ramon. <laughs> Me and my brother, we both loved Full House. We'd watch the shit out of it. My hatred of Full House made me love BoJack Horseman even more. Yeah. What do you think of Friends? I, I really like Friends. I know Lofaza, Quazel, I know you love criticizing my choices on these streams. But I, I really like Friends. I got nothing against Friends. I like to think of myself as a Chandler. But I'm probably more of a fucking Phoebe. Just kill me. God, if I'm a Phoebe... I'm gonna take the quiz right now. If I'm Phoebe, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Which friend's character are you? No, let's do that. Let's do this on my computer so then I can still read the chat. Which friend's character am I? We have to find out. All right, if I get Phoebe, I'm going to end the stream and kill myself. Where would you go on a honeymoon? Somewhere exotic and luxurious, somewhere isolated and romantic, somewhere adventurous with outdoor activities both of you can enjoy, or whatever my new mate wants, to, or wherever they want to go. I'm really not too picky. Um, I'll, if it's a vacation, I'll go wherever she wants to go. If you could live anywhere you wanted, look into the camera as you kill yourself. Oh, I'm going to do it. Oh, I'm going to get banned for killing myself? Oh, no. <laughs> Heaven forbid. <laughs> if you could live anywhere you wanted, where would it be? A historic, rich uh, city, rich in culture like London, Paris, or San Francisco? Somewhere in the countryside. I wouldn't really put San Francisco up there with London and Paris. <laughs> I don't know. Isn't it kind of a shithole? Somewhere in the countryside... Where the traffic is less heavy and the people are more friendly. Uh, so far, I like that one. In a suburban home where your kids can ride their bicycles in the street. I'm not going to have kids. Anywhere and everywhere, no city walls can hold me. No, I like the countryside where traffic is less heavy and people are friendly. Hell yeah. Hook me up. London and Paris are also shitholes. Uh, I don't know. Our friend Hippocrit is from London. And he said it's a lovely place. 
He said it's lovely. Your friends don't care about their shoe brand, but you do. No, I fucking don't. No, I don't. You only wear shoes that fit your personality. You only buy Adidas, Nike, Reebok, or any shoe brand is fine, really. You don't really have a preference. Yeah, I don't have a fucking preference. If you honestly care about your shoes. Is waifu. Okay, Joey. Of course, Joey would think that. The only two friends who didn't hook up. Fuck Phoebe. I hate smelly cat songs so much. They made her character all annoying and shit on purpose, but it worked too well. But yeah, uh, if you care about your shoes, you might be retarded. No, I don't care. You've agreed to go on a blind date because you were informed that the person you'll be meeting is a small-time model. Ooh. You arrive a little late and peer into the coffee shop where you see one strikingly attractive person seating, seated alone and one wart-plagued ugly person seated alone. What do you do? Oh my, is this an episode? London is a great place to get stabbed to death by a gang of people <laughs> belonging to a certain explosion-based religion. You'd wear Crocs then if you have no preference. I don't have fr preference on brand. I want to wear a shoe that is comfortable on my feet. Say that to my Yeezys, homo gay. Uh, if Crocs were truly that comfortable, I'd probably wear them. But they have a bunch of holes in them, don't they? I don't want to get my, f my socks wet walking around with shoes that have holes in them. I'll wear any brand of shoe as long as it fits me and doesn't hurt my foot. All right, go straight to the lone attractive person. If you're wrong, leave immediately. <laughs> you leave immediately. There's no way that hottie in there is single. Blind dates are fun and easy. You enter hoping good luck is on your side. You would never go on a blind date. I don't feel like I would go on a blind date. I'm sorry. I, I don't think so. If I haven't texted a girl for like three months beforehand. There's no way I'm talking to her in person. It's not gonna work. There's no way. The only thing I know about the Cosby show is that my mom thinks all those women lied because she loves Bill Cosby. <laughs> Whoa. You can wear Crocs with socks as well, so that's good. No, because they have holes in them so my socks will get wet. That's the problem. What describes you when you last had braces? I've never had braces. If you have them, don't smile. They're a necessary evil. I mean, if I had them, I wouldn't hide them. Actually, my teeth are kind of fucked up. Maybe I should get adult braces. They're not perfect. You know, while I'm, in, I'm on my quest to become the world's most average manlet, so I'm trying to get in shape, maybe I should just go all out on my mouth too. And get some braces and shit, so then I sound like I'm lisping more than ever. Suggest... Uh, I sent you a depression chamber email like two years ago. Can you read it on the next episode? Just send it again. I'm not gonna find it. Mumkey has the best teeth in the game. Yeah, that's right. In the PCP game, I suppose. Other than Nate. <laughs> Get Invisalign, sure. Suggest talking over the phone rather than in person. Or never had them never. We have never had braces. Probably never will. Question six, you wake up each day with the energy of a rabbit so you can poop when you want, where you want, then search for mates. A pigeon, hoping to just fly through the city until it's time to eat. Oh my god, yeah, we're at 200%. Thank you, Twizzy, that's awesome. What a night it's been. A kangaroo, your fighting spirit comes and goes. A bear that has the power of two bears. None of these are really that lethargic, are they? Well, I wake up in the morning with a good amount of energy, but I, I do kind of have to shower to fully wake up. I'd say it's a kangaroo. My fighting spirit comes and goes. Sometimes I'm wide awake when I wake up. Sometimes it takes a little bit of work. If your teeth are perfectly straight, then you won't be average. Yeah, I guess I need them to be, to be a little fucked up, don't I? Twitch says I should tell you it's my two-month anniversary for subbing to you. Uh, it tells me in the chat, but thank you. It's Fez for two months. When you are late for work, it doesn't happen, but let's uh, let's see. You jump out of bed and feign the death of a distant relative over the phone as you speed through traffic. You slump out of bed and prepare a nice breakfast before heading out. You're already late anyway. I don't know if I'd make myself more late on purpose. You show up to work and act like you were never late in the first place. That's a good one. You call in sick, don't forget to throw in a cough or two. 
Uh, I don't mind showing up a little late to work if if it was an accident because I mean, fuck them. They don't own me. What are they going to do? Fire me for it? Okay, I'll get a new job, bitch. Yeah, I'll, I'll show up to work and act like I wasn't even late. Fake it till you make it. You landed a minor role in a Broadway musical as a mermaid? Whoa! On the opening night, your parents show up unannounced in the front row. Okay, cool. I'm down for that. You go through with it. They always support you. Make sure to acknowledge them afterwards. I don't know about that. Go through with the performance, making sure to distort your face and stay moving so they can't recognize you. Wait, why, why would I want to hide it? Why would they go to this Broadway musical unless they knew I was in it? Your parents will find some way to humiliate you forever. Humiliate me? I'm on. I'm in a Broadway musical. That's awesome. You bribe an usher to escort them out of the theater. Your role is easy. A replacement can be found. Well, I guess I'll go with the first one because it's the only one where I'm not ashamed to be in a Broadway musical. I think that'd be dope. Good thing Mumkey isn't looking for a job nowadays. This world would kill you, Mumkey. I mean, I, I usually show up like half an hour early for everything anyway, so I don't think I'd be late for work. What years of your life do you consider to be your prime? Oh. Oh. Childhood years, high school years, college years, or adult years. College years, absolutely not. Those were the worst years of my life. These adult years were pretty good up until about November of 2018. <laughs> I'd say that, that. I guess the prime of my life is uh, 21 to 23. <laughs> and it's, it seems all downhill from there. Can you prop Jumpy up on the chair at least? He looks yeah, uncomfortable. Okay, Nico, somebody's got to care for Jumpy. Uh, my childhood years were pretty good, but best years of my life were, I guess, the last three, so. Right up until everything went to shit. So I'll go with adult years for my prime. Who do you currently live with? Friends, significant other, mom and dad, nobody. I live with my significant other. You come across... An envelope filled with $3,000 outside a police station. Oh, I'm taking that motherfucker home, baby. I don't owe them nothing. I don't owe anybody nothing. Alert the police. Fuck no. Pick it up with a fake look of concern and half-heartedly see if it belongs to anyone nearby. That way you won't feel guilty when you take it home. Honestly, that's probably what I would do. Pretend to drop your purse slash wallet and pick up both simultaneously. Police station or not, money lost is money found. You're goddamn right it is. Pick it up and give most of it away to homeless persons. No! No! I need the money! Because <laughs> mm, if, I, if I go to see if it belongs to anybody, then somebody greedier and smarter than me will lie and say that it's theirs. I gotta go with the one where I just take it. That's what you gotta do. What kind of watch do you own? None. An inherited hand-me-down, something simple that works, a sleek silver watch that costs a couple paychecks, or I don't have a watch. I'm going to have to say I don't have a watch. God, I hope this is not going to be Phoebe. Who would you call first if you were just involved in a car accident? The police? A family member? A friend? An insurance company? Why call anyone? Get back in and keep driving, perhaps to the nearest auto shop? I, mm, well, if it's in Sheepover's car, then I'd probably call her. <laughs> mm, but I'd also probably call my dad and be like, yo, I don't know what the fuck to do. You never taught me what to do. So I'll go with a family member. What is the last thing? Only two more questions left and we'll find out which friend I am, folks. What is the last thing you do before you go to bed? Reflect or write in your journal? No. Get your outfit ready for tomorrow? No. Brush your teeth? I do that mostly in the morning. Drink a glass of milk or sneak a midnight snack. I do have a lot of midnight snacks. I gotta, I gotta be honest. And finally, what level of competition do you enjoy? And by midnight snack, I usually mean midnight nuggies. Jerk off, no. <laughs> I'd call my dad too. Yeah, I mean, your dad knows what to do. All dads know what to do. Just call the cops and make it their problem. 
I don't know, last time I did that, I got in a lot of trouble. Not allowed to call the cops when something bad happens. What level of competition do you enjoy most? Competing against friends and family? Competing against strangers and trying to show them you have some skills? Competing with yourself, you'll never lose. I don't know about that. I lose to myself all the time. Watching from the sidelines. I really like having friendly rivalries. So I'm going to have to go with competing against friends and family. All right. Click to get my result, baby. Calculating which friend's character am I? You are Joey! Wanted Chandler. Damn it. Joey, you may not be the sharpest knife in the drawer, but you're unrivaled when it comes to the opposite sex. Ooh. You're a great friend. Going great lengths when needed. Remember, your friends are your lifeline, and you'd better not leave them behind. <laughs> I guess technically I am the best friend he's ever had. He just doesn't know it. Well, you got Ross in my trash. No, Ross is fine. Pretty much anybody other than Phoebe is good. When's the wedding? And is, I assume, Asperger your best man? Not going to be a wedding. And not going to be a best man. Fat Monica, as opposed to normal Monica? Oof. <laughs> Going great lengths when needed and getting fucked over for it. You're goddamn right. Chunky is staring at the camera, making me feel creeped out. Can you please adjust him? Nah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Rosarito. Not only no wedding, no marriage. You kidding me? This woman is going to try to take all my YouTube money. Literally hundreds of dollars in that divorce. Fuck that. Mary Mumkey Coward. Wow, we've been going for two hours. Maybe we should say goodbye soon. It's almost one in the morning. What weird dreams have you had? Please respond. I have a lot of weird dreams all the time, but I don't really remember most of them. Don't you need a YouTube to have YouTube money? Hey, I say I have a big YouTube nest egg of $300 <laughs> that I have to spend on my taxes next month. Can you give Jumpkey a less just haircut? No, his hair looks great. What are you talking about? Jumpkey looks amazing. I remember he used to look like he slicked back his hair. Like a businessman. That was awesome. I need to comb his hair like that. Only 22 hours left to go. Fuck you. Well, you see, Jared Jams, I'm not like other girls. Uh-oh. I don't like hearing that. If you say taxes, you instantly turn into DSP gaming. You know what? I was going to talk about this on Boomer vs. Zoomer, but we're not doing that until tomorrow. I've watched so many Wings of Redemption compilations lately that I've ran out of them. And somebody recommended I watch the DSP compilations, and I've started watching them. I like the ones where he's really salty about losing on Call of Duty so far. And I did see one about him complaining about his taxes and how he's going to lose his house. Which is, of course, it's all his fault, which makes it funny. So yeah, I've been enjoying the DSP stuff. Look here! Look! Listen! DSP is fat retard number two. I haven't watched Low Tier God, but I saw a video where somebody had a Low Tier God soundboard <laughs> and they, they would go around, uh, I think in Rainbow or something, and, and playing the soundboard. And it was, it's one of the funniest videos I've ever seen. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna recommend it. I need to find what channel it was. And they also had a Wings of Redemption one, and it's, it's just fucking hilarious.
Is it this channel? Yeah, yeah, Realm of Dark Side. He has 3,300 subs, but he makes all these videos doing these soundboards of Wings of Redemption and Low Tier God, and they're all fucking hilarious. You, I, I, that's my big recommendation of the day. It's so funny. Realm of Dark Side. What's your least favorite nuggy? The frozen ones. Those frozen dino nuggies were disgusting. They were inedible. Horrible. I have to masturbate on camera before a stream? Okay. It's gotta raise the camera a little bit. My dick comes all the way up to here when I'm sitting down, so... Mostly just gonna see, I guess, my, my forehead on camera. Not a fan of this music you have playing. Please reconsider next stream. You don't like Rusty Cage background music? What's going on? I don't even know how loud it is for you guys. I thought I put it pretty low. I've been on the official podcast. Please play I'm Coming Home instead. Okay, you asked for it. If I can hear it, it's too loud. Uh-oh. <sighs> for old times' sake, here we go. Whoa, why are you so big? I've heard that one before. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. All right. You guys ready for some Marlene Glish? You guys better be ready. I dedicate this video to Marlene Glish, my grandmother, who has passed in uh, 2008. She had taught me about music when I was younger, and I just dedicate this video to her. I just want to say, Grandma Marlene, I love you, and uh, I can't wait to make it to heaven with you. And the song is about coming to heaven, and uh, I'll see you when I come home. I love you. Tired of this song? No, even after the 24 hour stream, I wasn't tired of it. This song is an earworm. It's great. You can't possibly hate this song. It's perfect. Yeah, the instrumental is what really makes it and the big epic finale of I'm Coming Home. hates this and that's what makes me love it even more. It's the he played it for him. I've gotten a lot of snapshots of people listening to this song in their car while they're driving around. <laughs> it's just about the funniest thing I've seen on Snapchat in a long time. We are just link? Somebody can post the link. I don't have it on. We may not know what Nico, thank you again. Big spender tonight. Post that link. I know you guys have. Heart is filled with passion. Thank you, Carson. I blasted this in the car, and my brother was pissed. I want to send you a video of me listening to this and then crashing my car into a tree so I can go home to God. Brad failed to come home. That makes him tonight's big loser.
sometimes feel the devil attacks our life. So we must, we must trust that God protects our life. Even woke my brother up to this song and, and he said stop playing this nation. fucking song <laughs> we love God. This we <laughs> if i leave this nothing else behind life. after i die i want it to be introducing this song to a whole free generation that God gave us this life. we must do all we can for our battle plan we must live we must care before we pass So this I know Where we go After we live and pass Here it comes So this I Get say your emojis ready, subscribers pray, The times come at last I'm coming gave me a great idea I think if if we could make a compilation video or something if we could get as many people as possible to record themselves singing this song in full and then we combine them all <laughs> so the screen is like 30 different screens and play all of the songs at the same time it might be the worst sounding thing in the history of humanity so I think we have to do it I think we owe it to ourselves to make that happen because <laughs> it sounds great all right, Skumkey had a request. Unless the channel has been uh, uh, taken down with false copyright claims. We'll see. the deadline just do it whenever you want and send it to me <laughs> there's no deadline I'll, I'll compile them together when I have enough send it to any of my emails so monkeyjones at gmail.com go for it once I get 30 of them I'll upload it so first come first serve you're the one of whom the ancient say to die for you're the one that anyone with half a brain would try for you're the only one who seems to calm me down and when i think about you inside all the thoughts i drown i can't sleep i can't dream i can't think i can't seem to get you out my mind i confess i'm a mess but you you make me inclined to hang on to all the happy thoughts and leave all the bad ones behind I'm in love with every second that we spend I'm in love with every single word that you extend I'm in love with everything you do just to be kind And I'm in love with everything that's inside of your mind I'm in love with every single thing that you do But truth be told that most of all I'm just in love with you 
and I want you to know that you're the only one that makes this life so beautiful. We are born, then we live, and we die. It's a circle of life. We are free, free to believe in one God in this nation. We love God, this we cry. It's a circle of life. You're gonna send it in, send it in without the instrumental. So put on headphones and listen to it and sing along. I only want your voice. There's a chance, well then I'm first in line But I know that that's probably not to be A girl like you would never settle for or choose me Sadly if I fight for love then I'm sure to lose So for now I'll just pretend it's I'm real sure and be pour out the, the booze One shot for holding hands, two this? shots for cuddling Three shots for making out, four shots for loving Five shots to bring you pleasure, six shots to be my treasure Seven shots to fight then eight shots to make it better Nine shots to storm the weather Ten shots to swear forever Finally it feels like I feel like Like we're together We must do all we can For our battle plan, battle plan. We must live We must love we must care before we pass So this I know Where we go After we live and pass And pass So this I say As we pray The times come At last I'm at coming last. We'll see if he comes home Blown the fuck out! Thank you, Nico. You're the king. The kingmaker. You made yourself the king. song for his campaigning. I don't know how it relates to Bernie's platform at all. All right, boys, I think that's the stream for tonight. Thank you all for keeping me company tonight on this Saturday night. I've got a busy Sunday planned. We'll be back here in 11 hours. Noon Eastern time with a brand new Is It Kino? Trust me, you're not going to want to miss it. Then I'm going to go look at the goats and I'll post a picture on Instagram. Mumkey Jones TV. Uh-oh, Skumpy threw it a thousand. Nico blown the fuck out. Thank you, Skumpy. Thank you, Nico. Uh, so expect a new goat picture tomorrow after Kino. Then around 7, I'm recording a brand new Boomer versus Zoomer. Uh, patrons to patreon.com slash monkey will get access to it early. Otherwise, it'll be out on Thursday. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams to you too, Nico. Um, so yeah, I'm recording two podcasts tomorrow, hanging out with goats. It's going to be a good Sunday. I'll see you guys tomorrow at noon. I expect to see you there. In the meantime, go to... Uh, monkeyjones.tv to watch a bunch of great free content. Skunky takes 
an even greater lead again. Good night, everybody.